iPad Lover showcases the powerful, creative, and entrepreneurial capabilities of the iPad and its apps. Hey everyone, Robert here, and I wanted to show you how you can score music within a video using your video editing applications, and in my case, my animation software, as well as using GarageBand and a third-party app called AVS Audio Converter. So, as you see here, I've got the Hulk here. And I, I've slapped together this animation just for the sake of this tutorial. So what I've got him doing is just basically standing here and giving a speech. So let's take a listen. You know, Hulk learned something today. When Hulk get angry, I go smash, and sometimes I need to use mouth instead of fists. So from now on, no more smash, you know. Okay, <laughs> so it's it's pretty dry. I mean, yeah, it's not funny, but I guess, again, for the sake of this tutorial, but it's also boring. There really isn't any music or anything to make it any more interesting. So... Again, I'm using Moho for my animation, but this can work for any video animation software or video software that you want. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to render this, and then we're going to extract the audio from the video, and then we're going to be using GarageBand. Now, I like using GarageBand, and if I wanted to, I could export the video and then compose the music on another application on my computer. But the thing about it is I can't take it with me. And whenever I'm walking along, I usually get a lot of musical inspirations while I'm on the go. So I want to be able to score on the go, hence using GarageBand. And GarageBand, if you don't have it, is an incredibly powerful music making app. I mean, not only do you have a lot of features within the app itself, but you also have access to third party apps that can create um, oscillators, beats, um, virtuals, virtual uh, instruments and synths, and as well as drum loops. I mean, the capabilities of this app are incredible. Hence, I use GarageBand for a lot of the scoring. And there's also a second thing to this too. When you score your own music, you will not get trounced on for copyright infringements like on Facebook or YouTube or any other place where you would go. Hence, your monetization options are open or anything like that to be able to make money because you're making your own music. So we're going to go ahead and get out of this and we're going to go into step two of the process and that is extracting the audio from the video file. Okay, part two of this is extracting the audio, and I use a software called AVS Audio Converter. Now, AVS, uh, AVS is uh, a site called AVS4, the number four, uyou.com and again the link to the application as well as all the other apps are in the description of this video and what you want to do is after you have rendered the video or animation that you want to use you're going to go up into the upper left hand corner and click on add file and you are going to look for the directory where you have your file located and we're going to go ahead and do that get into the animations and we're going to go in into the get into the film scoring now the the rendering that I have done for the video has been on an mp4 format but the audio recorder will be able to handle most standard video format extensions and so what I'm wanting to do is to convert the video which isn't going to get rid of the old video what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to just convert it to an audio and render it to the desktop so what you want to do is you have the quality that you want to set up right here. I'm gonna leave it as an MP3 and leave everything pretty much at its defaults. And you're gonna to want to keep it at its defaults. And make sure that you set your output folder wherever it is that your project folder is or to your desktop. And then it's just a simple matter of going through and clicking on convert now. And because it was a short video, there really, really wasn't all that much to convert. So now what we want to do is we want to upload the audio file to a file sharing 
app that can work across desktops and your iPhone or tablet device. And for me, I use Dropbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and the next part of this is uploading this to your, or to my Dropbox account. That's where I'm gonna go. The next part, we're gonna go ahead and dive into GarageBand and what we have to do to be able to do this. Okay. We are in GarageBand right now, and I've gone ahead and set up a new song where I'm going to import the audio file. Now, you're going to hear a little bit of lag with regard to this. Since I'm screencasting this tutorial, the audio in this is going to lag from what you see, but you're going to get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so as you remember, we've got the audio file by itself in the Dropbox or your file sharing of choice. And what we are going to do first before we do anything, we have to import the audio file and you're going to click on the little plus in the upper right hand corner of GarageBand and this is where you would normally go to adjust your measures. You're going to want to click on that and instead of eight bars, if it defaults to that, you're going to want to make sure that this is changed instead of that to automatic because what you're getting is you're going to be getting an audio file more than likely that's going to be longer than your uh, default 8 measure and with regard to your tempo. So if you import an audio file that's roughly about a 2 minute audio file that you're scoring, it's going to cut it off right at 8 measures if you don't do the automatic. And so once you have that done, you're going to go into the loops in the upper uh, right hand corner you're going to want to tap on that and you're going to want to get into your audio files and you're going to want to tap on browse uh, from their files app. Now I have already got Dropbox set up as default and it's important that you can upload your audio track to any file sharing stuff just so long as you have it linked to your GarageBand. It doesn't have to be Dropbox. I got Google Drive, I got my iCloud Drive, I could have easily done it there. I just prefer Dropbox. So I've got it in my audio directory and we're going to scroll down and it will be under film scoring. That's what I have it. And of course you'll rename this once you know you render whatever it is you're going to render. So go ahead and tap on that and it'll go through the process of importing it into GarageBand. Okay, film scoring is right there. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to tap and hold and then drag this over to the tracks area. And just do that. And then it'll go through the process of showing you what is there. And it is going to be in mono format, at least for this track, which, you know, isn't going to be a big deal. And all of us who are working with GarageBand should realize that. So now what we have to work with is being able to score what is there. Let's go ahead and play what we've got. You know, Hulk learned something today. When Hulk and... Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and turn the metronome off. Now, depending upon what you're doing, you want to adjust the tempo for what is there. So, we already heard the metronome is there. I, I don't want it that fast. So, I want him, you know, the Hulk is introspective here. So, we don't, we want an introspective tempo. I'm going to take it off of 110 and we're going to do a, let's see, a that, 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 that. Yeah, 76 is about right for the sake of this tutorial. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get all the way back and we are going to go ahead and for the sake of this tutorial, I am just going to run through the chords. So I'm going to go ahead and step on the recording and I'll go ahead and run through the automatic chords of the string here. You know, Hulk learned something today. When Hulk get angry, I go smash, and sometimes I need to use mouth instead of fists. So from now on, no more smash. Okay, and there will definitely be a lag in this, but you get the idea of what's going on. So let's go ahead and play what we've got. You know, Hulk learned something today. When Hulk get angry, I go smack. 
Okay, so that's fine. But the track is a little bit loud. And at this point, if you're familiar with GarageBand or any other video, video editing app, you will know how to go through and get this. I'm going to go ahead and drag my volume level down so it's not too overpowering and where you can hear the dialogue. You know, Hulk learned something today. Okay, so that's perfect. <laughs> Perfect for the sake of this tutorial. So what you want to do whenever you're in GarageBand is you'll go ahead and tap on the upper left hand corner under my songs and it will save it. And then we tap and hold for a little bit to go to the share function. And then we are going to save the song. So the left hand, we're going to tap on the song. And you want your quality of your audio pretty high. And if it's just spoken speech, you don't have to have it beyond 128, but I want it at the highest quality, so we're going to leave it there, and we're going to click on, or we're going to tap on share, and it'll go through the process of giving you a selection. So, like I said, you have all of these different options, but I'm going to go ahead and save it back to the Dropbox. And then we're going to tap on the name we're going to call it's my song, let's see, my score finalized, or final. There we go. And make sure that you choose your audio folder or whatever directory that you might already have it set up. I'm going to get rid of the keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and tap on save. And it will go through the process of exporting your song. Now, this, of course... Very quick tutorial, basically just showing you what you can do. You can go through, I mean, I, the, this is the other cool thing about GarageBand is not only can you have multiple tracks having any style of music that you set up, but if you're doing any type of video or for me animation, you can go back into Apple Loops and you can have all of these different things you can go through your different sound effects that might be there. You can go through um, any of the stuff that comes with it and really add a pretty rich soundtrack and scoring for your particular video. So now that this step is done, we're going to go ahead and go back to our final step, and that is bringing this audio, uh, this odd new audio file back into the video editor that you have your project. Okay, so we're back in, at least for me, my animation app, and for you, it would be your video editing app. So what we want to do is we want to import our new audio file. So for me, now that I'm in Moho, I'll show you what I do with my specific app, and you can get sort of what I'm doing and uh, apply it to your particular work format. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the middle tab here, my sequencer tab. Now, before I do that, you can see the original audio track that is there. You can see the waveform that is there. And I went ahead and stopped it at a particular keyframe, hence the rest of this isn't going to be there. But for us animators, you can look and see the keyframes have already been set up here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be knocking out this old audio and I'm going to put the new audio in its place. And because we went directly from this audio, I'm not going to have to move it around. Now, if you're scoring different parts of your video or animation, like if you're scoring a part in uh, your project that is like about a minute or so into it, you're going to have to do some moving around. But it's important to keep the old audio file there so you can listen and you can get everything synced up where it was before. But for us animators, the keyframes, the little dots that are here on this line, those will not change. They will not change at all if you eliminate the file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap on Sequencer, and I am going to go up here for me, and I am going to add a new layer, and it's going to be an audio file. And I'm going to go into my Dropbox, which it shows up on here because I have Dropbox, the app installed on my Windows 10, so it shows up just like I'm looking in a directory on my computer. So I'm going to look for my file, and it's my score final. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. 
And as you can see, it is a new score that is there. Now, I am not going to have to change anything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go down here and find my old audio file, which is this one, and I'm going to dump it. So let's take a listen and see what it does. You know, Hulk learned something today. When Hulk get angry, I go smash, and sometimes I need to use mouth instead of fists. So from now on, no more smash. You know okay, so we've got it right there. So we've added a little bit of interest to it, and I, and I can't express the enormous power that you have, and I'm promoting GarageBand for the app. You're able to take this on the go. You're able to, when you're sitting down watching TV and you got a commercial going on, pop in your earbuds and work on the composition that's there and work on film scoring for it. And then just re-import your audio that came uh, from the scoring that you've done in GarageBand and re-import re it into your, your video editor if you're just doing regular video or for me, doing your animation. And it is a great way to add precise scoring to the mood of your speech or the mood of the dialogue that you got going on. You don't have to have a laptop right in front of you while you frantically try to do your thing on GarageBand to be able to sync up the time so that you hope it's perfect. But in any case, I just wanted to get this to you, and hopefully it helps a lot of you. And I'm coming from animators, I'm sorry. I hope it helps a lot of animators and a lot of uh, film creators out there to be able to utilize GarageBand for their film scoring purposes. I'm Robert Weimer with iPad Lover, and if you like this, please share it with other people and like the video and comment if you have any other tips or tricks that may go along with it that would help other people out. And I will see you soon. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for stopping by. Please show your support for this channel by visiting our Patreon page.